best friends. Arte is here with me today. We're gonna go and try on some dresses. Oh, I'm excited. Best friend, what do you have to say? Best friend, best friend. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? It's me, your girl. I'm back. Welcome to another video. This is the first vlog of many. I'm so excited to share my one of my best friends. Arte is here with me today. She drove all the way from Louisiana in the cold, in the ice, just to be here for this momentum occasion. So friend thank you so much for joining me this is our first video together as well so you will see her several times throughout this year as we celebrate as you guys know your girl is getting married so I have a lot of things planned this year um, and you will be seeing this beautiful face so what are you most excited about today friend what's going on what's on your heart I'm just excited to be here we did drive through the snow so I will never let you um, live that down so just so you know I know. <laughs> And um, many years ago, many moons ago, she went out of her way to drive a couple hours so she could spend some time with me when I went wedding dress shopping. So this is important, an important day for her. An important and I had day. my baby, I was six months old, <laughs> strapped basically like this the whole time and she cried the whole way there. And then she cried the whole time there. And then she cried the whole way home. So <laughs> we have both made sacrifices for each other, which is why she is such a special person in my heart, which I absolutely love. Also, she's gonna be a lawyer soon. So we are super excited about that, y'all. I can't wait to share like her JD journey. JD loading. Yeah. So <laughs> hopefully one day she'll share her story and her testimony because it is absolutely amazing. So again, congratulations. So we just want to at least start this video right. I'm going to take you guys to one of the shops today. We're going to go and try on some dresses. Obviously, the actual dress that I pick out, you guys will not see today. Um, but I do want to just take you guys on this journey from Miss to Mrs. Anything else before we? No, I'm excited. It's going to be a fun day. So let's get rolling. All right, here we go. <laughs> So we are going to just pick out some dresses. Okay, so they are picking out dresses. There's my mother. And then Arte. Is that gonna be my dress? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna see. There is a lot to choose from. There's my sister, my bridesmaid. There's my beautiful aunt. She found some dresses. Best friend, what do you have to say? Best friend, best friend. What do you want to say to the camera? To the camera? Yeah. Your nose is running. Your nose is running. That's what you want to say to the camera. All right, y'all. That's my grandma. All right. Let's put on some dresses. Hi. Here we go. Dress number one, y'all. This was my first dress ever that I was trying on. So I've never tried on wedding dresses. And I love this dress. I love the beading. I love the design on it. It definitely made me feel very princessy. The only thing I didn't like is the straps, and I feel like the front was a little too much. Like, I wanted something that was a little bit more, I don't know at the time. Like, I didn't know what I was looking for, but, um, but I love the actual detailing in the back, and I loved everything about this dress. Super cute. I just didn't love, I didn't fall in love with the front part. Dress number two. So this dress was super pretty. I definitely want to go for the regal feel, the elegant, the like va va boom. Like I just want to, it to be super dramatic. 
Um, I love the shape on this. This was definitely pretty. Love the shape. Um, the only thing I didn't love about this dress was the top part. So I felt like the strap should be maybe off the shoulder. Like, I don't know. I just didn't love it, but absolutely love the look of it. So yeah, super pretty. Dress number three. So here's dress number three. This dress had a definite kind of change of pace. So the material was very, very different. It definitely looked really, really pretty. I just didn't love the top part, y'all. Like the top part just was not doing it for me, but the back was absolutely beautiful. And if you guys are in Dallas, definitely check out Gowns of Grace. They hooked your girl up. They're absolutely amazing. They are family owned. They've been in the business for a long time. So check them out. Um, they just go above and beyond. So again, love the dress. It just was not what I was actually looking for. Dress number four. So this was such a pretty dress, y'all. I think this was more of the look I was trying to go for. I definitely wanted the beading. I wanted different materials. I definitely love the shape of the dress. That was really, really pretty. So I definitely love the A-line. Um, I definitely also love the train, even though the train was not as big as what I was looking for or that I wanted, but it definitely was getting me closer to what I was looking for. Super, super pretty. I was like, okay, I'm feeling myself. Okay, number five. So this is dress number five. So I just did not like this dress, guys. Um, I feel like it was very, very simple. It's very pretty in person, but it just felt very, very simple. It didn't have the long, you know, train like I wanted on there. The back just didn't have all the details I was looking for. Um, it just, it didn't, it was a no for me, y'all. It was a no. I put that on and off really quick. Okay, so dress number six. Dress number six was such a pretty dress. Look at the back. Look at those details, y'all. Like, yo, it was beautiful. I absolutely love that. I love the details on that piece. Love the shape. The only thing I didn't love was the top part. So I wish it could have came maybe off shoulder a little bit, or it could have gave me just a little bit more of the va va vroom kind of vibes. But, um, you know, it didn't do anything for me. But, you know, it was really, really pretty. So definitely loved it. Dress number seven. So you guys, dress number seven, I almost fell off, ignore that part. Um, I love this. So I love the shape of it. I love the material. I love even the details on it. I was like, okay, this could be the dress. The only thing that I was looking at is it was kind of sheer um, between the bust line and the stomach. And you know, I don't know if I loved it, but I did like the train on it. The train was beautiful. It definitely gave me that like dramatic look. You'll see our Tay kind of get up and take pictures along the way. Um, so definitely something where I was like, okay, we may try this. Dress number eight. So dress number eight was also really, really pretty. Look at the details, y'all, on the back. Oh my God, the, I just absolutely love the back of it. I love the train. Um, so pretty. I love the shape of it. I was like, okay, maybe so. Um, I wanted to see what it looked like with a shoulder. So you'll see her put a shoulder on. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like princess vibes, y'all. So I love that piece of it. I even tried it on with the veil, y'all. I really thought this was gonna be my dress. The only hesitation was the material. If you look at it very closely, I felt like it looked like spider webs. So dress number nine. So dress number nine was also really pretty as well. I absolutely loved it. It had that sheerness, so I didn't know how I felt about the sheerness. It did have a different material on the bottom, which I actually wasn't too fond of, but it was really pretty. So definitely something that, you know, I considered. Um, I just didn't know about the sheerness because, you know, I don't know, guys. What do y'all think? Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this one. today it was so much fun I never thought in a million years that I would be trying on dresses and actually planning my own wedding so this is super surreal my friend Arte has obviously been married for a couple years now um, couple. so she's you know 
<laughs> for a while. A more more like six, <laughs> but a couple, yeah. Cheers, you know, a couple, six, whatever. <laughs> um, but I just felt so um, just blessed to be able to have a really great group of ladies with me. So how did you feel about today? Today was really fun. Um, I'm glad I got to be a part of your experience, of course, and I'm just so happy to see you and your fiance joining your lives together. So yes, finally. I'm just very happy <laughs> for this new part of the journey in your life. So I'm happy for you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> so I will ask for people who are wanting to be married, what are some things that you recommend or some things that you want others to like not have to like stumble over? Like what are things that you've learned in your marriage? Help us uh, out. Communication? Ooh. That's a big one. Okay. Because most of us don't know how to communicate well. <laughs> so you just learn how to communicate because there's so much compromise you have to do when you're married. Mm. And I don't think people realize that when they get married and they sign the dotted line. So that's something I definitely think that more people need to understand. You have to communicate with your significant other to make it successful. So hopefully I will continue to have a successful marriage as I have had for the past six years. And, and I'm wishing the same upon you for many, many years. Thanks, so. friend. Yes, a blessed and successful happy marriage. All so. right, hallelujah. <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching another video. Um, hopefully you'll see her in several of my other videos. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye.